Yo, what's going on guys? Hennis here and today I'm going to be teaching all of you guys how you can actually set up donation alerts for your Twitch or YouTube stream. Now everyone knows Twitch and YouTube streamers love to get donations and one of the best ways that streamers like us can actually thank the viewer is by giving a really flashy, poppy, and fun little alert every single time we do get a donation. So what I'm going to go ahead and show you guys today is a service called Streamlabs that actually allows you to customize in many different ways your actual donation alert that pops up on screen. You guys will be able to change the image, the sound, the animation, and even add your own little moving picture to go along with each donation if you wanted to. There are so many different options you can choose from. It's incredibly easy to set up. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first thing you guys are going to want to go ahead and do is open up a browser of your choice and head to streamlabs.com. I will have a link to this website down there in the description below. And then you're going to want to go ahead up here and click login. Then you'll be greeted with this page right here. You can either click connect with Twitch if you want to set up donations for your Twitch stream or connect with YouTube if you want to set up donations for your YouTube stream. Now, since I've already set up donations for my Twitch stream, just to show you guys the exact process of how to set everything up, I'm just going to go ahead and click connect with YouTube. Then I'm going to sign in with my Google account. And once I've successfully logged in, I should be greeted here with my Streamlabs dashboard. Now within the Streamlabs service, you can actually do a whole slew of fun little things for your stream. One of them is a donation alert. As you guys can see, if you go down here to alert box, you can actually do a whole ton of different things such as subscriber alerts, sponsor alerts, and even fan funding alerts. But like I said earlier, today we're going to be configuring donation alerts. So what I'm not actually going to cover in this video is how you can actually set up your donation settings. For this, it's pretty self-explanatory. All you got to do is set up a PayPal account and then connect that PayPal account to your Streamlabs account. It's pretty simple and easy to do. If you guys don't know how to set up a PayPal account or you've never used PayPal, then just head to paypal.com. It's easy and free to set up and you can start getting donations immediately, which is wonderful. Another thing that I do highly recommend doing though is setting up credit card donations. This is one of the big reasons why I love using Streamlabs is because they're one of the few donation services out there that does allow viewers to donate using a credit card. So make sure you go ahead and set this up as well. It's just going to make it a little bit easier for your viewers that maybe don't have a PayPal account and want to use the credit card option to donate. Now actually getting back to the donation alert here, what you're going to want to do is over here on the left hand side, head down to alert box. And once you're here, you want to go over here underneath the donations tab. Now the first thing you guys are going to want to go ahead and do is make sure that donation alert is set to enabled. I don't want to sound like I'm being condescending here, but a lot of people when I've told them in the past on how to actually set up donation alerts, they've actually forgotten this step. And it's a pretty easy one to miss because if you go under underneath here, all these other tabs like subscribers, sponsors, even fan funding events, they all have their own individual enable or disable button. So just make sure that this is enabled and just go ahead and click save settings right down here. Now the first part of the customization here actually comes with the layout. You can actually have the image up on top with the text on the bottom, the image in the background with the text in the forefront, or the image on the left with the text on the right. It's really all up to you guys and it doesn't matter which one you choose. Just for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and choose the first layout here. In my own personal opinion, I think it looks really nice too. Just to have the image on top and the text on the bottom. And then we can actually customize exactly what that image is going to be and what the text is actually going to say later on in this tutorial. Now, right here underneath alert animation, you can actually set how you want the actual image and text to appear on screen. So this is pretty self-explanatory. Again, you have a whole ton of different options, which is again, one of the reasons why I love Streamlabs. They give you so many different customization options. And uh, so just for the purposes of this tutorial, let's go ahead and choose uh, bounce in left. And then for the animation out, we'll choose uh, bounce out right, just to you know have a little bit of a counteract there and just spice things up a little bit, see how it's gonna look. So once you set that, we're just gonna go down here to click save settings. And then text to speech. This is an option that you guys can enable or disable if you want to. But basically what it does is every single time someone will donate, obviously they will have the option to leave a message with their donation. And you can actually have a fun little text to speech voice read aloud what the person actually donated. You guys may have seen this in a lot of the bigger streamers you watch on Twitch or YouTube. It's a pretty fun feature. And a lot of viewers will like to take advantage of it because a lot of the times the text to speech voice is actually pretty funny. Now, minimum amount to alert. This is really only something you're going to want to set if you're actually a much larger streamer. A lot of the issues that a lot of the larger streamers have is they get a lot of donations, obviously. And if they set their donation alert to alert for every single $1 donation, they're going to be getting a lot of alerts for every single stream. So that's why you'll see a lot of streamers like Tim the Tatman, Summit 1G, and even Lyric, they'll have a minimum amount to actually alert when someone donates. So a lot of them will do like a minimum of a $3 alert donation or a minimum of a $5. It doesn't necessarily mean that the viewer can donate less than that, but it means that whenever they do donate less than whatever that minimum is, it's not actually going to appear on screen. So again, that's at the streamer's discretion. You guys can set it to whatever you want to, but I believe if you set it to zero, it will make every donation trigger on alert. Now, right here for the message template, you guys actually can customize what you want the little message to say when someone actually donates. So these name and amount placeholders here are actually just keywords that are going to be replaced with the name of the person who donated 
and the actual amount that they donated to your stream. So you can customize everything else within this. I'm just gonna keep it as is because I like that it's pretty basic and pretty streamlined. We don't really need it to be more complicated than that, but obviously you guys can change it if you want to. Right here underneath text animation, you can set this to whatever you want. It's set on wiggle and it gives you a little bit of a sample right here, what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna set it to rubber band. I think that might look kind of funny and just be a little bit of a cool alert to test out here for Streamlabs. Now right here underneath image and sound, you guys can actually customize with the image that comes up on screen and the sound that plays whenever someone donates. So one of my favorite things to do as a streamer is set really fun or interesting sounds to come up when someone donates. And a lot of the times it'll change, you know, given current memes that are going around or anything that's just funny at the time. So a lot of people will use clips from TV shows or clips from their stream or just really funny little short audio clips to use whenever someone donates. I do highly recommend though that whatever sound you choose, if you do choose to have a sound for your donation alert, is to make sure that it's pretty short. I wouldn't say have anything more than like 10 seconds long because if you do, you do run the fact of your streamers getting a little bit annoyed at each time someone donates. But again, that may only be an issue for a much larger streamer if you're someone who does get a lot of really big donations. Now right down here, you can set the sound volume. That's pretty self-explanatory, just the volume of the sound. If you do happen to have a sound for your donation alert, which reminds me, if you actually don't want to have a sound for your donation alert, obviously it gives you a default sound right here. You can just go ahead and click this X button right here and it'll actually remove the sound and only show an image up on screen. I do highly recommend having a sound for your donation alert though, because that will alert you while you're playing a game to actually look over at your screen and thank that person who just donated. Now the alert duration, again, this is pretty self-explanatory. All that this sets is basically how long the alert will stay showing on screen before it goes away. So I believe the default here is 10 seconds is just what it's set to. You could set it to a maximum of 60 seconds. That's really long though. A lot of streamers from what I've seen usually choose a time of around 10 seconds. Now for the text delay alert, this is really what you'd want to set if you want the text to come in at a different time than the actual image. But for me, I want the text to come in at the exact same time as the image. So I'm not going to delay that by any means. Now right here underneath donator message settings, you can actually set whether or not you want the message that the donator sent along with their donation to be shown on the screen with the alert, or if you don't want it to be shown. And then you can go ahead and customize the font, the font size, pretty self-explanatory, the font weight, which is essentially the boldness of it, and then the text color. Then right here underneath font settings, you guys can customize again what you actually want the font of the name of the person and the amount donated to actually show up as. Now there's a couple of key distinctions here. The font size and the font weight we already went over, but when it comes to text color and text highlight color, there is a key difference here. The text highlight color is the color of the text that's going to replace name and amount. So essentially whatever color you set here underneath text highlight color is going to be the color set for the name of the person who donated and how much they donated. And then the color set to text color is going to be the color of whatever this donated amount is. So essentially the text color is going to affect everything that's not a keyword or a placeholder in your message template and everything that is a text highlight color will be set. So just to make this a little bit easier for you guys when I show you the alert, I'm just gonna go ahead and set the text highlight color to a red and leave the text color as a white. So the text highlight color should affect the name and the amount. So the name of the person who donated and the amount that they donated should be in red and this donated word here should be in white. Once we've gone ahead and customized everything there, we can go ahead and click save settings. So now that you've gone ahead and set all the customizations for your donation alert, you're gonna wanna go ahead and test and see how it's actually gonna look. So what you're gonna wanna do is just go right up here and click launch. And this is just gonna bring up a little sample window right here with a green screen background. And if you actually go back over here to your alert box dashboard and you click test donation alert, then go back over to your alert box, you will actually see a test donation come up on screen that'll show the person's name with the amount that they donated and it will actually read aloud the text. So that actually looked pretty cool in my own personal opinion. And again, you can use that to sort of test and tweak exactly how you want your donation alert to appear. Now, once you've gone ahead and finished customizing your donation alert, it looks exactly how you want. Now it comes to actually adding it to OBS. Adding it to OBS and XSplit is actually incredibly easy, but I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it in OBS because that's the streaming program that I use. So the first thing you guys are gonna wanna go ahead and do is just open up OBS Studio. And once you have it open, just navigate over to a scene that you actually wanna add the donation alert to. I'm just gonna go ahead and create a test one here, call it test. And then right underneath sources here, you're gonna wanna right click, go to add and click browser source. And you can call this whatever you want. I'm going to call it donation alert then click OK. And then right here underneath URL, you're actually gonna copy and paste this URL that appears right here in your alert box dashboard. And you're gonna wanna paste it right here in this URL tab and click OK. Now don't worry, nothing should pop up here as of right now, but if you head back to your alert box dashboard, click test donation alert, 
you should see the donation pop up right here without that annoying green screen background and actually have it become fully transparent. So then you can resize this and put it wherever you want on your stream to alert every single time someone donates to your stream. But anyways, guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. Hopefully you guys all did enjoy. And if you guys did, a like rating would, of course, as always, be very much appreciated. And be sure to let me know down there in the comment section below if you guys have any questions on how to actually set up donation alerts for Streamlabs or if you guys have a different service that you like using a little bit more, maybe someone who watches this video may not like Streamlabs, they can go ahead and check that one out down there in the comment section. And if you guys did go ahead and watch up to this point in the video, make sure you go ahead and comment down below hashtag donation alert. That'll let me know that you guys watch this entire video. And anyways, guys, thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming, and as always, stay cool. Adios.